If Vivian came to see Tony Johnson the day she died, it had to have been about something important, like this killer she was chasing. But you'll probably say it was just a coincidence. Castle, why is it so important to you that I believe all this stuff about fates and psychics and Santa Claus? Because if you don't believe in even the possibility of magic, you'll never ever find it. Okay, and we get a parcel on the license plate. I'll run it down and see if I can find it where the taxi dropped her off. Turn it off, turn it off. Detective Beckett? Hi. Penny, what are you doing here? Is there somewhere we could talk privately? What's wrong? Did you remember something? No. It's not that. I'm afraid I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. The fact is, I have a little bit of what my mother did. Sometimes I have dreams that are meaningful. Last night I had a dream about you. Okay. And I can't really explain why, but I feel very strongly that I'm supposed to tell you something, something important. Are you ready? I'm ready. Alexander. Alexander? Alexander. I don't know who he is or what he means to you. I don't know any Alexander. You will. You will meet an Alexander, and he will be extremely important to you. At some future date, he may save your life. Okay, um, good to know. <sighs> Thank you, Detective. Thank you, Penny. <laughs> Paula Casillas is lawyered up. He's already trying to suppress her confession. Will that work? You know, I doubt it, but Paula's done talking. Did you ask her who wrote the letter? You know, I didn't get a chance, so I guess it'll have to remain a mystery. Uh, actually, not quite. Do you remember the last clue, the sound of knocking from far away? Mm -hmm. That would have been Nick Johnson. He said he pounded on that door for quite some time before he finally gave up and went away. Vivian was already dead. Yeah, but Paula could have still been in the office waiting for him to leave. She would have heard the knocking, just like she saw the phone, just like she saw Albert Moreno, who was probably dressed in black, so she just put it into the letter to throw us off. Hmm. Only, according to your timeline on the murder board, by the time Nick got to the office at 5.45, Paula was back at the restaurant, so the office was empty. Except, of course, for Vivian. Oh, before I forget, what did Penny say about Alexander? Oh, nothing. Just some silly stuff that didn't really make any sense. Why? Because my middle name is Alexander. I thought your middle name was Edgar. Been perusing the personal section of the Richard Kessel website again, have we? No, I changed my middle name to Edgar for Edgar Allan Poe back when I changed my last name to Castle. My given name is Richard Alexander Rogers. What a coincidence, huh? It's no surprise.